I'm here with Mike Asedu as we get ready for this week's game against the Weber International Panthers. And Mike, it's been certainly interesting to look at your box scores the last couple of weeks. Every week it seems a new tallies going in there, interceptions, forced fumbles. Talk about how this season has progressed for you. Um, yeah, um, I came in the season as a safety and transferring to a linebacker has been a different experience for me, but it's basically basically what I did in high school, so it's not that much of a big difference, and it's football, so I just I like being physical, and I like the position. What can you take from being a former safety that helps you at the linebacker position? I'm um, being a safety, not only do you, are you in a secondary, but you're also reading the lineman, too, so it's like almost as a linebacker, so you, sometimes you're in the box, sometimes you're playing back, but it helps being faster than old linemen who are kind of slower than me, but it helps a lot being that I played, I used to play safety. And also in terms of being able to cover, say, a tight end or maybe even a slot receiver, it, is that a nice thing to help the defense with? Of course. When you have a, a versatile linebacker, could also cover the linebacker, it helps out the secondary. So instead of putting a, a skilled guy on a, on a slot or a receiver, you can put an extra linebacker. So, so you, don't have to, you can have over top coverage and still keep your secondary intact. Well, let's compare you now to another linebacker on this team, and that's Jeff Morgan, who maybe is the opposite of you. Maybe someone who, yes, he does have an interception this year, but seems like he's hanging out more on top of the quarterbacks than, than even you. Yeah, Jeff is more of a, he's a more of a rusher than I am, but me and, me and Jeff, we compare to each other. We're, we're both physical, both the same size. So, I mean, he's, he's good, and I'm good, so I, I like the balance. Now, you guys have faced a lot of scrambling quarterbacks this year, and you're going to see another one this week. Right. Talk about what you need to do to stop a quarterback like that. I mean, we just must contain them. If our DNs contain, which they are, then we, we will have the quarterback in the backfield all the time. But if you, we just, it basically comes down to containing, and which we have done a good job. Not so much as, as much as we want to do, but we have done a decent job this year. How would you rate the overall defense's performance this year? Just 42 points for the first six games. It's 42 points, but we could do a lot better. Um, our model is to play 40, um, 60 minutes a game. We haven't, we've got close, but we haven't played 60 minutes yet, and that's our goal. Now, you guys did play 40 minutes this past week, over 40 minutes of time of possession for a Newport News. What does that take out of the defense, and what does that say about this defense that you guys were able to preserve that shutout, especially on that third and five play at the end of the game? Um, it says that we're tough. Um, we stick in there, we dug our foot in, we put our foot down. We, we, we were determined to not let them score, and that's what we did. Now this week we get Weber International. Talk about what you're seeing with them on film and what you're going to need to stop them today. Um, we see a lot of big on big blocking. They have their, the alignment splits are very, very far apart. Um, they're more primarily a shotgun team spread, so they like to spread the football team out. But it's not something we haven't seen before, so we're ready for that. We're going to be ready. Is there an opponent on the schedule that Wesley fans could possibly compare them to? Uh, not that we've seen so far. Now, you, you're from Yonkers, New York. Talk about how you made the way from, from New York, from the New York area, down to here. Oh, um, yeah, I was actually from Yonkers, New York. Uh, I looked up Wesley and D3Football.com, so we were ranked number three coming as a freshman, so I was kind of interested. Uh, I wasn't recruited because there was a lot of players, and Coach, I came, I was a late addition, and Coach told me that, um, I mean, he couldn't really take me to camp, but I could walk on, and he said, that, yeah, you'll still have an equal opportunity to play, and I came in and walked on and I earned a spot on the team. What's the best part of playing for Coach Drass? Uh, the best part, uh, it's Coach Drass. I mean, everything is best. Everything is good about him. I mean, you don't like you don't like running, but he's a good coach. And coming from high school, we weren't the most winning team. But coming to Wesley College, it's like a whole different aspect. It's like you have to win, or else you're disappointed. What's the toughest part of playing for him? Toughest part is living up to his expectations. Um, he wants you to be perfect, and we want to be perfect too. But it's not always you're not always gonna be perfect. But that's the best part. I like I like trying I like trying to be perfect. What are you majoring here at Wesley, and what do you hope to do in the future? I'm a phys ed coach, phys ed major, phys ed K to twelve. Um, I hope want to coach after after college, but we'll see what happens. Well, best of luck this Saturday. Hope to talk to you after the game. Thank you.